This podcast is part of the Zeo to Hero Podcast Network. You stay right here. The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you always. We heard the voices. We can hear them. We can touch them. We're going to find out who they really are. Well, now that's a terrible idea. I'm going to do that one more time because I felt like I sloshed it. Um, actually, yeah, it pretty much started with, I know you guys can see it, but people at home, use your imagination. I'm talking about the oh. Hulk right now, baby. If you remember the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure from Hasbro, um, oh, yeah. my gateway action figure into collecting again. And I really wanted something for this, oh. for this to go with. And um, that's kind of what got me started. And, you know, if you guys know what a Build-A-Figure is, you know that it comes with, like, at least... 20 figures you got to buy to create this other one. So <laughs> I thought, oh, well, I, I bought one. Can I can I get another? And then that just snowballed into an addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, as you can see behind me, that happened to me, too. <laughs> yeah, I was admiring your collection, too. Guy. Like, that's yeah. a lot of power range. I ruined them. I gave them, I gave them, I gave them the Legacy uh, Psycho Blue and Psycho Red. No, Psycho yeah, Blue, Blue Red. Red. And, and it, it just sprawled into that. And I'm yeah. so proud of him. <laughs> this is what happens. Like I'm like, I can get him on drugs really easily. Oh yeah. I mean, you <laughs> just show, just show me a bag toys. of white. Show me a bag of white powder, and I'm addicted. So just you know, it's like <laughs> sugar, cocaine, anything. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of audio, welcome to this episode of Zero to Heroes only audio podcast because we don't got time for no video feeds. You think I'm gonna edit a video? No. We've tried before; it doesn't work so well, especially when I don't I'm get time for this kid. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim, this week is gonna be a pretty fun episode. Uh, I know that you got a couple pickups because you actually cried to us uh, off camera and off recording. So, please tell our audience. What got you crying today? I'm just gonna throw me in the bus like that. Just want me yeah. to go cry about this? Definitely. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So first things first, the internet goes out. Okay. So yeah, the internet goes down, and then a power goes out, and it freaking fries all my stuff. Not like fries it, but like resets everything, and I'm really mad about it. So I was sitting there trying to get back at work, and I couldn't get back at work. And they're like, "Hey, you need to get back on the like back on calls." I'm like, "I'm working at." It. They're like, "Hey, what's going on?" I'm like, "You know, power's out." Everything else is that. I was like, you should go to Starbucks. I'm like, ooh, Starbucks. And then after work, I go, you know, go start looking for some gift cards. So I go to the Target and I pick up the, you know, Umbreon's there. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going pick up Umbreon while I'm here. So I've got Umbreon. And I get home. I'm like, I'm going to cancel the other order I have. I only need one Umbreon because I don't really want one myself. I'm getting it for Liz. And I was like, all right, cool. And I look at it. It was processed this morning. I'm like, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Uh huh. How does that make you feel? Bit. Okay. A little frustrated. Yeah, well, that I'm was not a hell sad of a lot. Or angry. That's a lot. Just a little that's, frustrated. That's that's trauma dumping, buddy. You're trauma dumping on us. You know, I can really trauma dump on you. You want to see my? T- <laughs> that <laughs> was see what happens. Yeah. Okay. 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 So like, okay. So we got new couches, right? So we put our old couches out on the side of the road mm-hmm. to get picked up, right? Okay. Okay. So it's been like three days. Like the the the, the, the they're gonna come pick it up tomorrow, right? Um. Uh, city recycling, right? They're gonna pick, and it's been like a couple days. Okay, sure, whatever. <sighs> We're sitting there, and I get home yesterday, right? Home yesterday, and I had couches, and I had like a box full of stuff that was just old stuff. No one really wanted. Stuff is gone. Both yeah. couches just thrown across the road. But why? And I'm like, maybe it was windy. I set it back up. Today, just as windy as it was yesterday, couches didn't move. So it intentionally threw our couches. They flipped the couches. I know I didn't like these couches Bastards. either, but come on, man. Like, calm down. Like, what's going on here? Speak. Okay. Well, speaking of new new things, that's that's a lot you got Try going that on transition. Here. Let's go. Come on. Let's you, do you this. Got, you got something really going on. But if you know, y'all haven't speaking heard. Speaking of frustration and things you don't want to talk about. 
this other person. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like someone ran over your couches, bro, and was like, take care of that. <laughs> but as you can hear, we have a new voice with us tonight. And uh, to all of our audience out there, we'd like to welcome on, welcome on Taven from oh. Taven the Caveman on TikTok and T- Cave Art Custom. Customs on Instagram. And if you haven't seen his stuff, definitely go follow him on Instagram and TikTok because he makes some incredible dioramas. And Taven, how have you been doing today? Doing awesome today. Was kind of nervous about this first interview about that's about this serious, you know, like podcast status. What? Oh yeah. Well, I saw all your stuff and I see all your stuff and I was like, like I just like I told Jim and I told you that you know we've done cosplayers, story writers. Uh, nice. All the and uh, we've never had anybody like actually that puts dioramas together and miniatures. We had and, one guy who did a uh, toy photography. Yeah, uh, we've had the that, actor. Yeah. Uh, it's, actor a a, it's a hell of a hobby. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's very time consuming, and it definitely pushes you to do a little bit better every time that you uh, approach mm-hmm. a new project. I love it's it. It's time consuming and expensive, right? The one, the yeah. one that got me, the one that got me of your little, your little. Uh, Toy photography is when they're busting out of the uh, Marvel Legends box with all the flip plastic going everywhere. Yes, okay. thank you. Everybody loves awesome. those. I, 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 I love those. Hate that guys. Those are my favorite. And then, but then you got the little tiny uh, what are they called? Uh, the stand with the microphones. Oh, the podium. The podium. Yeah, the po- I the podium. Yes, you're right. Yeah. When you, when you try to give a speech on that, that sold me too. I was like, we gotta have a podium now. <laughs> so that's yeah. Podium. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I make these little gadgets and doodads for my action figures because I'm trying to challenge myself artistically to craft something that you know. It's uh, I'm crafting it instead of 3D printing it. I have a 3D printer, but I rather you know, I, I like using my hands, my grippers. So that's, yeah. That's- I'm doing right now pushing myself uh, do you use hot wire as well i know a lot of people use hot wire to cut easier through the foam i do actually that's i used it on this project right above me you guys can't see it over here but it's uh it's got some cool angles on it and uh yeah definitely don't tell people that. what they can't see that's that's <laughs> seeing <it. laughs> oh my god well well, yeah, if y'all are interested, he actually has a diorama behind him of the X-Men vault or what a uh, cerebral cerebro cerebro yes, like that. The uh, the idea was to cross uh, the entrance for cerebro with um, the danger room. So I this is oh. what the guy wanted, so this is kind of what I'm putting together from what you can tell. It's definitely giving those vibes out. I have all the weapons in the other room that are going to be connected to it once I start, you know, slapping some paint on it. Hell it's yeah! Pretty good already. Like yeah, you know, it looks pretty yeah, solid. Yeah. I will say, uh, are is the 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 okay? So I saw a quote in your TikToks about like the magnetic walls. Is that your like custom idea? Oh yeah, the ones that you can flip over and make it into like a yeah, a yeah, yeah that was cool. Like I was listening, to, I was listening. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Off TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that idea just came to me out of nowhere, and it was because I I. These dioramas, they they get they tend to get pretty, you know, like they, they get big, and mm-hmm. I'm mean, like, you're gonna run out of space soon. So how are you going to work around this? So why don't you turn? Why don't you make a diorama that can turn into a different diorama by just flipping the walls? You know, it's just adjusting the magnets the proper way, and boom, you got that. So that's kind of where that came from, and I didn't think any, anything of it honestly for a couple of years. And then one day I was like, you know, I haven't seen anyone do this, so I I, I need to share this because, like I said on the TikTok, if I can come up with this, and right now the diorama is ugly as hell, but imagine what other people who are way more craftier than I am can do with you this know what? idea. You just a patent for that. Uh, I've been told that a few times now, and uh, someone even sent me the link to go and do that, and I was well, uh, I was really you, happy. That you you could be like a bajillionaire, you know this, right? Well, you're lucky you're talking to two lawyers in, <laughs> in the Zero to Hero, Zero to Hero, Zero to Hero law firm. So, oh, we got you, we got you covered here. You know, <laughs> the Zero to Zero to Hero law firm. So. Did you always did you start in like uh what is it because you you have a lot of Marvel figures did you start in Marvel figures with it or did you did you start with some other project and then it 
kind of developed with the Marvel? Um, actually, yeah, it pretty much started with. I know you guys can see it, but people at home, use your imagination. I'm talking about the oh. Hulk right now, baby. If you remember the Hulkbuster build a figure from Hasbro, um, oh, that yeah. was my gateway action figure into collecting again, and I really wanted something for this mm. for this to go with, and um, that's kind of what got me started. And you know, if you guys know what a build a figure is, you know that it comes with like at least twenty figures you got to buy to create this other one. So. <laughs> I thought, oh well, I I bought one. Can I can I get another? And then that just snowballed into an addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could as you could see behind me, that happened to me too. Yeah, I was admiring your collection too, guy. Like that's yeah. a lot of power I ruined them. I gave I gave them I gave them the legacy uh, psycho blue and psycho red. No, psycho yeah, blue, blue red. red. And, and it, it just sprawled into that. And I'm yeah. so proud of him. <laughs> this is what happens. Like I'm like, I can get him on drugs really easily. Oh yeah. I mean, you just like, show, show just me a bag toys. of white. Show me a bag of white powder, and I'm addicted. So just you know, it's like <laughs> sugar, cocaine, anything. <laughs> <laughs> Does do you get retail therapy from buying buying toys? Um, I I do I do, but lately I've been a little bit better at it. You know, I've been I, I go to normal therapy and. Oh. I've I was talking to my therapist about how it's easier for me to quit uh how it was easier for me to quit drinking and smoking the the Zaza uh cold turkey a lot easier to do that than to quit buying action figures altogether and oh. that's, that's... because you, you got something physical when you have your action figure you you have something that's to true. show for it so I yeah, don't understand it, definitely you got something physical you you it's a clean high you can say because you yeah. can or a story that these <laughs> that these uh, characters represent, you know, like even when they change the costume, you're like, oh, I know why you have that costume and why you have, you know, this and that. Little same thing with uh, same thing like art collecting, like like little art collecting. Like I have a couple pieces of art. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's true though. I have and some yeah. figures. I have a couple figures and stuff. Like I got a couple things I'm working on, and yeah, it's just like, oh, hey, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a, and like I'm not spending. Oh my god! I'm not Man. spending like twenty bucks a day, or the twenty, like ten, fifteen dollars a day on a pack of spokes. I go yeah, get, yeah. I can yeah. spend it on a Funko. Yeah, That's I kind of clean high, it, baby. Clean high. I I kind of slowed down on Hasbro because their prices have like kind of just jumped way up there. I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh man, that's tough. <laughs> I I applaud you for that. It's hard for me to like just quit Hasbro cold turkey. It really is because that's what got me into this. Um, yeah, yeah. Hasbro. And then like the layoffs and they've been selling things off. I'm like, oh, what's the, what's the future for Hasbro right now? Oh, yeah, their mm-hmm. stock just took a hit too to the gut. Mm-hmm. And apparently they're not as a uh, yeah, they just took a hit, you know? Oh, well, yeah, I know for a fact it would be a good idea to invest into them because yeah, if they hit, hit now, you lose a little money, but you'll make it all back like really quickly. And yeah. that's advice. Uh, don't take it from us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just know that like Marvel Legends is not going nowhere. Like they're 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 clearing off the shelves all the time, except for this new like Spider Man wave. Nobody wanted like MJ, so that's all I see now. That that's oh, true. Yeah. That's all I see on at Target is MJ. Yeah, the one for the movie. Yeah, the movie uh, one. Yeah, the MJ I don't. Um, I don't I'm know. I, I'm really upset with Hasbro, you know, because like I, when I first started my TikTok, I didn't know where I was going to what direction I was going to take it in. I didn't know I was going to find such a great community like the toy community, but I found mm-hmm. it and I stuck with it and I, I loved it. I still love it. I was even going to, you know, revolve my TikTok around Hasbro to the point where I was going to be it was going to be Hasbro Holic. My That was going to be oh. my name instead of Taven the Caveman. And um it was around the Pinkertons incident that uh, it kind of just changed my mind. I, I yeah, changed, I with one eighty on it, like you know, uh, with the yeah. the magic cards, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. magic cards. Uh, Wiz- Wizards of the Coast and their whole mess up. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So when I hear about Hasbro laying off a thousand whatever people, I'm just like, I hope they all worked in that department that send that decided it was a good idea to send the Pinkertons out. Uh, yeah, I hope all who got oh, right. <laughs> Oh my God! Well, yeah, that and hopefully they get better people in the D and D area, and you know, work on the magic stuff because I just saw that they released new you, you, Dungeons you and Dragons what, stuff. Well, you know what's happening with the uh, magic, right? Uh uh-uh. uh nope. So right. they've been caught up nice. in a couple scandals of stealing people's art. 
oh. over the cards. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's what the Pinker- that, like, that was that. part of the Pinkerton thing, right? So that was part of that. Uh, oh. It was unreal, like it was pre-release stuff, and then some of the cards that were in there also have other people's art in it. it was oh. Stolen right, like right from their like uh, deviant art or whatever. Just stolen. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Horrible. That's horrible. That's shady, yeah. horrible shit. Hasbro, do better. Come on. Ah, oh, dang. It? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It, it's been it's been a really weird ride with Hasbro. Like. Wow. Like yeah, I'm got it off of Hasbro. Exactly. I'm, I'm collecting new stuff. Right. Yeah, that's actually what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I have a few H uh, SH Big Arts uh, action figures. I have a Saint mm. Seiya over here, some a- uh, anime heroes. NECA is is another product oh, I really um, like. Look into uh, Mayfex. Mayfex is some Mayfex pretty cool are stuff. pretty good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. They're a little they're a little sometimes they're a little cheaper than SH figures. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then Sentinel is pretty good. Like those uh, the Spider Gwen over there. And the back is a Sentinel, and she's fantastic. You know, I, I haven't gone any Mayfex uh, any yet, you know, um, or Sentinel. It's gonna happen, <laughs> right? Yeah, I figure <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm a dork. It's I'm I'm bound to have at least three, you know, figures from this line and that line eventually. I I'm, I'm there with you, buddy. <laughs> uh, like I'm about to pick up a a bunch of Q Q action figures. They're right now on sale on a Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, so I'm yeah, this is, you know what action cues are? Uh, no, I'm st- uh, I'm looking at my, oh, okay, I have seen those. I've seen yeah. those like, by name. Okay, those are yeah. Those I big was, old I, action figures, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> so I picked them up, I was like, I'm going to get these anyways, so <laughs> let's do it. It's like, well, and this is and, another hole. <laughs> and now that you've conversated with us, you're now peer pressured into buying new things. Uh, so, I, I hate peer pressure. I always, <laughs> I always crumble. <laughs> I do oh, want to give Hasbro a big old thanks, though, because of their price gouging. Now you've made me raise my standard for action figures to the point where I am buying other lines because of your price gouging. So Hasbro oh. exactly or pushing me to do better, buy better, and enjoy my collection in a whole different way. Um, hey, okay. And so I think that's us. the only positive thing that came from that is because now that <laughs> you're charging, what, $30, we'll say, for like uh, a Marvel Legend, um, yeah. sometimes that that's how much a, a SH Big Art costs, you know, down the mm-hmm. cheaper end. And so there's so are like NECA figures. So like... Heck, even, uh, even Super 7 stuff is like right around yeah. there. Yeah. Like, you, like the the T Rex, like the T Rex, uh, is what I got like fifty bucks. Yeah, it's like twenty dollars not... more, and it's a full not... like Zord. It looks great. Yeah, what are well, yeah. sizes for those though? For what? Uh, the prices? No, no, I'm sorry. The size of it is it like the size? Oh. Like, is it, oh. or is it the, taller? I th- I think they're like seven inch figures for them. Let's go. Oh, that's or like the regular, like the regular yeah. figures. That's so, well. Like, here is, uh, yeah. here is Lightning Collection, right? So, like, Lightning Collection. Oh, okay, I see. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Super 7 been knocking it out. Same with NECA. I have been really enjoying NECA figures. Even though I don't buy them, I like looking at them. Yeah, for sure. And they, they do some really well, like, shading stuff. Like, uh, accents and everything on their figures. That's what I miss from for Marvel Legends, you know? I thought eventually, at one point, they were going to start giving us, like, that, uh, I guess... What what would the name the the word for it be? You know how Toy Biz used to uh, color their their Marvel Legends. I, I oh. love the shading, the the black wash, and like the gray yeah. to them. I I miss that about uh, Marvel Legends. And uh, going to NECA, they do that already for us. So already, I, <laughs> I like that. Th- those are always nice. I really like the the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from NECA. I really like that whole line. Oh, I'm not much of a turtle fan, guys. Like, boom. <laughs> turtle. Cody has a word. To, he has a hit. Cody has a word to pick with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of you. I I got on on my TikTok and uh, I I unexpectedly just got rampaged by on by some like basically all my friends on TikTok were like, "Oh, loser, get off of TikTok." Yeah, <laughs> hey. hey. this nonsense. The only the only teenage uh, TMT I bought was when they crossed over with the Power Rangers. So I bought all those Funkos from them. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> I love the art. Don't get me wrong. I love the art all and, right. and all that jazz. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruffle some feathers and say that 
They're probably like the worst heroes ever. You know, the probably the biggest fuck is out there. Yeah. How do you hide a turtle in a sewer? <laughs> How do you hide the smell off that turtle? No, the, the, did what? you guys watch? Okay, uh, did on. you watch the? Do you watch the movie, the new movie, or no? Well, the one that kind of resembles the uh, that art from from the Miles Morales movie, right? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie. I liked it. That movie got me into it, dog. I was I was rooting for that. that was, <laughs> you're like yeah, yeah. Right in the movie. You're like. Was that was that Jackie Chan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like what? Like I like the fact it's, it was Jackie Chan, and they were watching Jackie Chan movies. <laughs> it was like social. They had cell phones, social media, real world problems. Sign me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, fairly um, big name voice actors coming in, doing yeah. some bit parts, having a great time. All right, I'm here for it. Yeah, you can tell I, I changed immediately once you mentioned that movie. It was, it was great. If anything's going to get me into Ninja Turtles after hating on them for so long, it's going to be that movie. That movie. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I loved yeah. it. Oh, my god! Like, okay, Seth Rogen, right, has been, like, producing stuff mm-hmm. recently that has just been... Seth Rogen, Not like, the dude who, like, pot comedy, right? For yeah, the longest yeah. time, pot comedy. And now he's doing, like, producing movies like Teenage Ninja Turtles. Uh, he's helped, he helped produce The Boys. He's done so Invincible. many cool things recently. Yeah, he, he's, one of, he's one of the producers of The Boys. I think Invincible and some other stuff. Uh, Future Man he was part of. Wow. He's doing great stuff. Like, he's, you know, doing a lot of cool stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, do it. Off the boy. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm for it. Great. I, I knew he was a closet nerd. I f-ing knew it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew it. Yeah, when I found out that he did the boys, I was like, well, if he's doing the boys and now he's doing TMNT, I'm watching this. <laughs> well, it's kind of obvious he's doing the boys. He was a producer and, of the boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, man. Or am I thinking something else? No, I'm thinking Invincible. He was voicing one of the characters from that. Yeah, well, oh, he, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, the, uh, the alien Alan? that shows up. Yeah, What's Alan the name? A- alien? Alan the Alan alien? alien? Alien. Um, he's he's that, and he's also a producer for the Invincible. Uh huh. So he's one of the producers for the Invincible too. Like he's, speaking of Invincible, he I just a lot of cool stuff. I just saw an article today that there's some change ups in Invincible that there might might not be a season three. That's okay. That's, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. No. There's yeah what? apparently apparently one of the guys that show runs it or it left or something like that and I will well, fight you. the you guy are... who's <laughs> doing the show the guy who's like the guy who's making most of it is the actual author of the original Invincible yeah. comics so okay. if he's still involved it's mm-hmm. fine if yeah, he yeah. left it's done I can't mm-hmm. remember the guy's name I'll I'll send I'll send you the link to it whenever I find it. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta keep look looking it up at. now. Yeah. There are like two of the best shows out there right now for comic book nerds and, and anime. Oh my god! Yeah, I remember he introduced me to it because I didn't know what Invincible was. I was like, first episode. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> you know, a friend of mine who read all the all the Invincible books uh, before they came up with the show told me about it. Like he would just rant for like an hour to the point where I would just like zone out and like pop back in every once in a while, right? But like I put on the show before I remembered what he my friend was talking about. And then like little by little the things that I did remember started happening in the show. I was like, holy shit, is this that thing he was talking about? <laughs> How could I have been so dumb? Such a <laughs> fool for not listening to this man just spit poetry. It was it I remember was awesome. so I, I I read the I read the first couple of comics, right? So I read the first couple of comics, so I was like, oh that's pretty good. And then I just kinda got lost. Like I, just, I didn't have money to keep paying for mm-hmm. him and I it got lost in the shuffle, right? So right. the show comes out. I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch a show. And I'm watching the first episode. I'm like, oh, this is pretty solid. All right. And it gets to the end. I'm like, man, I remember something bad was supposed to happen. But I don't remember. Oh, that was oh, supposed to happen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was, like, I was like, oh, yeah, this is. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hold up. <laughs> I was uh, like, okay, that was a. Wasn't expecting that today, guys. <laughs> uh, whatever that hall that they always meet up in after they do a mission, if I could. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I were to make a diorama for that show, it'd be of that hall where they all meet up. You know, where the superheroes yeah, all yeah, got yeah. Right. Yeah. the Hall of Justice or whatever. Like, what do they call it? Yeah, their, their Hall of Justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do oh, it. Oh, that was. I, 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 I want to see this happen. I was going to say the, that actually leads me into a question I had. When you yeah. make those dioramas and the miniatures, do you have like pictures up to reference or do you just go by memory? 
Um, actually, yeah, sometimes I do download some reference shots off of Google, you know, just, just so I can have something to look at and like remind myself that like, keep it, keep it kind of like this aesthetic kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, cer certainly. Oh, and then yeah. there's other times where I do just wing it. I, I have a bunch of extra pieces of foam here and there. So I'm just like, you know, what could this be today? And then just, you know, shape it as I, as I go. Like, uh, there was no order for this. Oh no, no I'm sorry. Not this one. Oh, I thought I had it there. Uh, anyways, people can't see this anyways. Um, there's just there's just some projects I definitely have reference shots for and others that I'd like to wing. Um, but like this up here is the uh, the stage where, if you remember in Homecoming, the Spider-Man movie, the vulture oh, oh, yeah. thing, and, you know, that's like, I wanted that little stage because I thought it was cool. It was a two, like, little layer stage. Yeah. And yeah, if I can pull it up, if you... At least oh. vulture and thing. you got the vulture too. Look at that. Yeah, yeah so like really this is solid. Whoops. This is like where that comes from. And um all I did was look up the uh, the scene. My favorite part of making dioramas, one of them is doing the homework for them. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know. And that means I get to rewatch the movie that this is based off of, like a bazillion times, or at least that one scene. And then you know, pause it, take a little picture, Wait, and then... Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. so are Marvel are Marvel projects like you work on, are they pretty easy to work on because there's a lot of reference shots for things? Or like the... Uh, I was, I've noticed like all their stuff is pretty consistent. So whenever they do a project or whenever they do a set, it's pretty consistent with the same, like, you know, they go back to the set. There's no difference in the set. Is um, that, does it make it easier? Oh, my gosh. I guess in a way, yes, because you can look online and just look up like set designs, you know, and there's oh. really good pictures of those already. And you just got to find the right angle that gives you the details that you really want to put into it. Um, I know that this isn't like 100% uh, what it looked yeah. like there, but, you know, I have to add my own little my own little twist to it and make sure that whatever I have to, you know, put it together is going to give you the illusion of what I saw. At least, or... Now the question is: the question is, did you make the uh, did you make the uh, the Telltale Heart for the Simpsons? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the I I know this episode when Lisa's hitting it right, and it's yeah, it's like uh, she has more, like episode or three or something like that. Yeah, he's like she hides <laughs> it. Yeah, I, I've <laughs> used that gift so many times uh, as like a, <laughs> as a reference to what I'm doing. <laughs> and then the Lenny that's like surrounded by his dolls. Please don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> hey, i love that all right fair enough <laughs> wow okay. somebody somebody got your simpsons references i'm very proud i i i'm ecstatic you have no idea like <laughs> nobody gets my Simpsons references yeah. are you caught up with the season that season mm -hmm. this, this new season this oh. new season's been pretty good yeah <laughs> like surprisingly good they're like, speaking to the nerds too. The last episode I that I watched with the the crews and uh, oh yeah yeah comic book guy that one was really good. Uh, the the last episode that came out. Willie actually gets married. Oh what? There's another one out that I missed. Mm -hmm. Oh all oh, right, you're right. He he finally gets a win. He finally. <laughs> they've been giving they've been giving those like sad side characters wins recently. Like Mo got married. What? Uh, yeah, Mo got married to the midget yeah, uh, the midget lady. Uh, oh, from, like right. a couple seasons ago, like way back in the day. Yeah, uh, they get back together. Uh, Willie, uh, Willie gets married. Uh, Doctor Hibbert, uh, uh, Doctor Hibbert, um, uh, Police Chief Wiggum and Sarah, uh, finally get themselves figured out. And same thing with uh, Martin. Martin becomes more well rounded. He's no longer oh. just a nerdy kid. Oh, what? that's right. I remember that one when he gets. Mm -hmm. It shows that he's on his medication or something. Yep, he's on medication all the time and stuff. Yeah. What 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 season are we currently on? What number? Ooh, don't ask me that. I don't know. Top of my head. Yeah, I mean, thirty three or something like that. Thirty three. God no. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me. Do we. Yeah. Uh, so the other day, as 30... you looked at. Five. It was like, hey, what do you want to make today? And a part of me was like, make a casting couch. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. 
that's right. You you show the picture of what it, you want it to look like. I was like, I know that picture already. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So then I just made a, a couch out of foam, leftover pieces of foam, you know, like I said, and uh, put some felt on it and stuff. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to add some more details to this, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's just about a fun little challenge that I can do, and that only took me like a, a day to like actually... Ooh. That's pretty you cool, know, it'd man. be fun to see, like, in in Power Ranger Zeo, the power chamber had in the background the six rangers. Well, the yeah, six rangers in the back with the power, the power, power weapons weapons. in the middle. I would love to see something like that. My question is, okay, so if going back and watching that, is Saba in that like power weapon section? Wait, hold on, is he? That makes me now. That makes me think. No, because it's not. It's just a five original for the power blaster. Oh, yeah, uh, because gonna... the White Ranger's there, like his suit's there, but is Saba there? No, um, that was definitely the last. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my husband, he's creeping through the kitchen trying to be quiet. Um, <laughs> that was the last Power I Rangers that I watched. Um, Zio? you're on a oh my god, okay, well, you know what, you know what, it's fine. We're trying to take a different approach, yeah, we're trying to, we, we, it's a new year, new podcast, bullshit, so. <laughs> I mean, besides Dino, the, I think Dino Force, because Tommy had come back, you know? Oh, uh, just, oh Dino oh, Thunder. Oh, man, you, you hurt You're my right. soul there. Hold on, what? <laughs> Dino, <laughs> Dino Thunder, <laughs> sir. Sorry, sorry. Oh, man. Please don't revoke my nerd card. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let it stay out, because you, you, you complimented Jim's uh, Simpsons references, so we'll let it uh, slide. <laughs> I, so for I've now. seen some really awesome dioramas based on the Power Rangers, and the one that I haven't like. If if I was into Power Rangers as hard as this guy was, I I would want to make like the where you see Zordon, you know, oh, and just the base of him up there, and like the little control panels that uh, what's that little cute fella's name? That little Alpha. Little... Alpha. There we go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I love wait. That. Okay, uh, okay. You uh, you ever seen a show called Hasbro Hotel? The what hotel? Hasbro Hotel. Hasbro Hotel. Uh. Uh-uh. Oh man. Okay. Uh. How about uh? You play a game called Psychonauts. Psychonauts. Yeah, Psychonauts. No. Damn. What oh, are you? Okay. okay. Yeah, <laughs> well, like, the guy who did Alpha's okay. voice did a lot of other work, and <laughs> I like I went back to we, the anniversary movie came out on Netflix. I'm like, oh hey, wait, they brought this guy back, and it's Alpha, and I was like, Alpha has been a part of my life all of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who does his voice, part of my life, all my life. Okay, so I'm looking at it. There's a there's a blurry image, and the Saba's not there. I knew it. That's Nor is he with sword, right? with the White Ranger suit, so he's it's not there at all. So I'm pretty sure he got destroyed at one point. Well, isn't Saba in a whole different dimension though? Because in the comics, in the comics, might, they, yes, yeah. But, but show, I don't know. In the show, not so much. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, As I I really look at your guys' collection that's behind you guys. I'm not uh, noticing too many dioramas. I'll, yeah. I'll ask this question for you guys. What Sir, would... I will tell you exactly why. Uh, <laughs> we're not artistic at all. Uh, like, artistic? Yes. Artistic? No. No, we're not artistic. <laughs> yeah. You sign up, man. <laughs> what would your your dream diorama be? Why? Well, uh, for me, it would be the whole Zeo season with the the suits in the back. That would be me. That's okay. yeah, That'd be pretty cool, Nagalati. I would like to actually have one of those too. Um, yeah, there is a. You ever seen a show called Madoka Magica? Madoka Magica. Okay, Damn. so there's a there's a re- a lot of really cool artwork in there, and there's a there's a big cool fight scene that has a lot of really cool like art, but it's like super complicated. I'm checking it out right now. Oh, okay, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend. It. It's a really good show, A and B. It has a lot of really cool art and all the like mm-hmm. the 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 scenes. Like, is this on the, like, animation? Is that where I'm gonna? Yes. Find it? I put it on a check mark next to my little note here. So, yeah. boom. you're not gonna be able to do yeah. it. <laughs> like, if you could do it, I'll be thoroughly impressed. But uh huh, I can totally like, see. I, I'd be blown away. Huh. I can totally see what? like Jim with like a a, a like a. a a diorama of like uh, the Ava units and stuff. That'd be cool too. Or, yeah. Or just to be a super like annoying person, 
uh, had the Turbo Command Center. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people hated that. Oh, my God. So many people hated that Command Center. I loved it. I thought it was really cool. It was Definitely super simple. I have to do my homework for this. It sounds like... If it, if it excites you, this is what this is what I love about talking to people who want a diorama because they they just flourish and like they you're you're blushing right now because you love that show and I love it. No, we love blustered up because I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <The difference. laughs> well, you think this is all full of vodka? I didn't get any water. <laughs> I'm over here drinking Kathy out of a yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're proud of you. No, no, Man. but um. You know what? Okay, okay. So the diorama I would actually thoroughly, thoroughly want um, is the Bob Burgers restaurant. Like it's oh, super simple. Yeah, it's adorable. I love Bob's Burgers. <laughs> it's a great show. I would love to have it. It would be adorable. That's so. That's awesome. And like, if I can get a Funko size to put Funkos in it, oh man, I would do it. <laughs> I would do it so bad. Oh man. Like I would uh, just set up had... everything. I would get the I would get the rest I would get the rest of the Bob Burgers Funkos and I would take them out of the box. Like oh, I would get double sets of that's this so pretty... I could take them out of the box. If he says he's taking them out of the box, it's pretty serious. So. Just the restaurant though, right? Because yeah. I, I I couldn't do the whole house. Yeah, <laughs> just the restaurant. restaurant. That'd be What's awesome. your favorite yeah. of Bob's Burgers of the whole show? Well, which episode? No, well, <laughs> yeah, episode well, if you well, have well, one. Who's my right. favorite character? Or who yeah. was my favorite was that? Favorite character uh, is Bob. Bob is great. I love Bob. Yeah, Linda, I love like, Linda's know, second I best. Know. I love Linda too. She's such a gem. And <laughs> then you know it's okay. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of I I like Louise, but she's not my favorite. She's not my favorite character. She's mm. fun, but not my favorite character. No, I, uh, I Bob's just like the children. I oh my god, yeah. they're yeah. so annoying. They're, <laughs> they're fun, but like Gene is his own animal. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just gonna say, I feel like there's a lot of Gene in me, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe Gene, I just want to be great. a burger squatch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Bob, Bob is right up there. Like Bob and Teddy's relationship. The new episode of Bob's Burgers, by the way, have you seen it yet? It came out on Sunday. No, I haven't. Oh my god! So Bob and Teddy have a really good moment, and it's it's adorable. Oh, finally! <laughs> I love how Bob oh, yeah. just never cares for Teddy. Yeah. Oh my god! But they're best friends. <laughs> yeah, they're I best friends. Bob Eddie hates him, but he's like, ah, oh, he's my best friend though. <laughs> oh man! But no, Linda, Linda's great. I love Linda. Like the 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 guy who does Linda's voice, uh, mm-hmm. John Roberts, hilarious. Like look at his YouTube stuff; it's gold. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fan. He does a lot of little skits, and like you'll see Linda in the skits. Like, oh my god, this is how they got Linda, and it <laughs> makes total sense. It's like, okay. This makes the sense. One, the gro- I think it was the grocery shopping skit with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the guy's great. My husband showed me him and was like, do you know who that is? I'm like, no. She's like, it's Linda. I'm like, oh, I see oh. it. I see it. <laughs> like, it makes so like, it makes like he's they're they're out in the pool. He's like, I'm not getting in the pool. I'm not getting in the pool. And like in the pool. I got in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I need like, to see some of this. This is hilarious. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's it's fantastic. It's like top notch, like top tier, stupidly fun, like classic <laughs> YouTube comedy. Yeah, the the comedian of voices, Gene, uh, is also pretty awesome too. I like the stand. The funny part is, so Gene uh, looks just like Gene. The guy mm-hmm. who does Gene's voice looks he like looks an older like... version of Gene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god! I swear to God, he looks like an old version of Gene. I'm like, oh my god, what? But yeah, no, Gene, Gene's his own own animal. Oh, Gene's just. <laughs> you you like, remind I me don't... of that. Sh- you remind me of that show called Harmon's Quest, where like they actually have like the voice actors voicing these D and D characters and stuff. I love Harmon's Quest. Harmon's Quest is great. It's great. Have you guys you, uh, ever seen that? No, I, I haven't. I was about to ask. Okay. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> on, uh, it's on it. CVR? CRV? C, CV? Okay. The you guy who... I, I didn't watch it in the same way. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, you... the guy the guy who like runs Harmon's Quest, he also does uh, Rick and Morty. Yeah, Dan Harmon. Oh! Dan Harmon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah. Dan Harmon, it was yeah. hilarious. And, it's him, his ex-wife, and like a uh, uh, what's the guy's this... name? He's he's one of the guys from uh, he's one of the guys who does a lot of whose lines it anyways. It's not the main guy, but he's on there a lot. Yeah, um, it's a really then, funny uh, show. Yeah, and then the so, DM is great. Yeah, yeah, they they basically play a, a Dungeons and Dragons, but they they animate it. So like 
Yeah. You, they animate it to what they are saying. It's really hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Check them out. I, I feel like, uh, well, who was it again? Dan or? Dan Harmon. Dan Harmon? Yeah. yeah. He's got some good comedy. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't look up Danny Harmon or Daniel Harmon. Daniel Harmon, he's like a cult leader. Serial oh, killer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, cult leader. Full on cult leader. It's kind of weird. Just my type of guy. Right. Like a life. What are you talking about? Leads a yeah. cult, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gets uh, government tax breaks for being a church. A church. <laughs> I don't know. Very loosely worded. Church. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I was looking up. I was looking up Dan Harmon. And I was like, Daniel Harmon. What the hell? Oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, nope. Oops. Back it up. Thinking I'll of back it out right now. Her name or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's the second coming of uh, Heaven's Gate. Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> we don't live in Waco. <laughs> uh, did you guys ever watch Archer? Are you guys a fan of that show? Oh yeah, I've seen a couple. I, of the, I haven't had the time. I to have not been past season six. Like when Mallory no longer the show, I can't do it right now. Like it's uh, still too. It's still too close, man. I love saying, that. I, she's she's great. Like her everything she did was fantastic. Every single scene was perfect. Um. But what was his name Woodhouse. After Woodhouse died, I was like the the, the character, the actor that voiced him. I was uh, oh. that was upsetting for everybody. Woodhouse was such a, such a nice <laughs> character to have in that show. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna put uh, salt. Uh, you're gonna put sand in your eyes. What kind? The uh, coarse. The most coarse. Then you had um. Okay. Okay. Uh, so other show. Other show. Um. Did you watch Owl House? Owl House? Yeah, it's a really good show. Ooh, you should watch yeah. it. It's really fun. It has the mom from uh the mom from shit. Hold on. Uh from uh Arrested Developments in it, I oh. believe. So if you if you know that show, she's in it. And she's great. Oh, it's the mom from uh, it's the mom from Bojack Horseman. So Bojack's mom is the, the voice of the witch, oh. and it's pitch perfect. So what was the? How do you spell the show? The name of the Owl show? House A W L H O U S E. Is uh, the new season's coming out? There's another show coming out after it now that's taking place after the show. I'm oh. on board with it. Yep. This is I'm all about them and I'm like, and like putting these in so I can like remember these after the show. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we See, have opened you up to a whole about, new. Please. Yeah, please do. I, I feel like <laughs> I've been lacking on my animation lately. You know. Speaking well, of, you, anime, we... <laughs> did you guys watch Blue Eyed uh, Samurai yet? Oh yeah. no, it's on my watch list. I, I haven't I haven't pulled the trigger on it. Good God! If you guys ever got into a, uh, if if you liked Ninja Scroll, the action of Ninja Scroll and the intense mm-hmm. story uh, things that they have. Watch oh. it. You'll, you'll lose your shit. The gore is is uh, beautifully drawn. Every everything really? about it. The story is pretty decent. Like it's more than oh. decent. And, uh, and like I've heard good things about it. I just haven't pulled the trigger. The first episode is an hour long, and I just haven't done it yet. Is yeah, long. that's usually what you got to break through, right? The first episode. Mm-hmm. Like it, I watched, I watched all of Clone Wars, and I'm like putting off an hour <laughs> of a Netflix oh, animation. Oh, that's a unique st- uh, art style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of Archer. The, the art yeah. style, yeah, used for it. Well, it's it's that CG art style kind of thing going on with yeah. it. Yeah, like that it's weird and like it's a lot better than it used to be. Like when they they first tried to do it, they did it in a show called Knights of Sidonia. And it was yeah. really off-putting in the first couple like episodes. The story took over because the story was really good. Just it was really weird. And they just kind of they've been perfecting it for years. And it's pretty good now. Like it's pretty solid I, now. But every time I see it, I'm like, eh. I might have to definitely watch it. This looks really good. I like it. It's on the server, so give it a shot whenever you want to. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, now it's... the question is, do you watch Bluey? <laughs> Bluey? Uh, no. no, my dog does though. When we leave the house, we leave it playing for her. <laughs> oh, my oh my god blue is the door have you, you love it since you're like into marvel did, have you seen the new season of what if i have i i uh it was such Man, a gem that, that, that know bluey were... murder crossover episode was crazy what <laughs> <laughs> the what 
the Bluey murder crossover episode. Oh. Was crazy. <laughs> um, I think my favorite episode was when Hella became the White Hella. That was pretty good. That was, good like, that was pretty. I yeah. think that was my favorite one. I I love a story when a villain turns good. Um, yes. Or you know starts like reconciling with their yeah. like, issues yeah. and they just make you know switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with the magnitude of how Hella was, like how she was based and stuff. Just seeing her good was like, and fighting her own dad was like just amazing to me. Her, yeah. taking, her finally figuring herself out. Oh, it was yes. Yeah. yeah, there was a couple episodes that I was like, I can't watch this. It's just, there's nothing to it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I really mind it. It was fine. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything yeah. groundbreaking, but it was fine. It was good. Like, Though I'm still kind of like I'm a little upset about the very like last episode where Captain Mar- uh, Captain Britain or Captain Carter, Carter. Yeah, you're right. Uses Captain Carter uses uses the freaking uh, gauntlet, snaps, and it's fine. No, and you got a point there. You got a point there. <laughs> kills off. You kills off. Uh, kills off Iron Man, but Captain Carter completely completely okay. Right. Yeah, because if you watch the show, like the gauntlet messes you up. But she's fine. What it the hell? messed up Thanos. Like, yeah. If that's a good, why does it give the Rogers? Rogers would have been fine. Yeah. It's, oh. I didn't let that slip. I didn't even put that together. You're right. I was sitting there. I'm like, wait. Oh. <laughs> I was like, hold on. Hold the phone. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what? I was, gotcha. I was distracted by the new character. Wasn't Co- Kohiti or? Yeah, she was yeah. great. I liked her. She was fun. I like. I liked the whole story arc for her. You talking fun. about the native girl? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. That was the one I, I couldn't watch. I was like, it was h- so hard to get involved in that one. I was like, oh, I'll just skip it. Just because you have to read subtitles. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't lose. I'm illegitimate. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it reminds me of what they were doing with Echo. I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch any of that. It just dropped. Uh, I, I don't blame you for not watching it or anything. I don't even know what came out. Wait, is Kingpin in it? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's in it. He's in I'm it. I'm here for it. I'm gonna watch it. I don't care. I like the actor. Uh, yeah, I like him. I don't care. I like him. He's what's, fun. He's great. What's Echo based around? Echo? Echo's based around a Native American character. She, you first saw her in the Hawkeye special that came out. Yeah, oh. yeah. she was all right in that. You know? Who, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, okay. Did you watch Hawkeye? Right? You watched it. Uh, Black Widow's sister. Uh, Yelena what? or Yelena? Yelena yeah. stole every single steam, everything she was in. You're not oh. wrong. She did great in that. Oh, macar- oh you made macaroni. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, they made macaroni. I love how intimidating <laughs> she was when she kept on repeating Kate's name, just full name, Kate Bishop. Like, Kate Bishop. Are you saying that to intimidate me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was great. But, but you should really, really, really watch Hawkeye. It's fantastic. I've seen a couple <laughs> episodes, but I haven't. I need to go back and watch like from beginning to the end. Like you know what, Kate Bishop grew on me. Like I didn't like her when she started that the series. I did not like her at the end. Fantastic, loved her. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. You got to give it to her. Uh, she she did do. Yeah, yeah. I I, I feel like I'm there with you. She annoyed me a little bit, and and then I think, yeah. Yeah, she redeemed herself eventually. She got she got more fun, and then her and uh, her and uh, 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 I can't remember her name right. Uh, but th- them two together, fantastic. And then mm. freaking Elaine's the big bad for the next series. <laughs> yeah, that's Elaine's that, there. <laughs> Thunderbolts movie, if they're still doing that, uh, it's I gonna be awesome. That, that. Harrison Ford is involved now. He's supposed to take over Thunderbolt Ross. Was that for Thunderbolts or Harrison for Ford? for um? For the new Captain America movie, or for both? Uh, we know? Uh, oh, who's doing for what? Who? Uh, is he? Is he gonna? Is he just gonna be in Thunderbolts, or or? Well, he's taking over. He's Captain taking over America. Ross's role. Like anything Ross uh, is a part of, he's taking over. Uh, so whatever he whatever he's involved with is is now Harrison Ford. I'm definitely gonna enjoy the shit out of that. Like I, it, I want him to yell at someone funny. to get off his plane. Oh, he's talking. So <laughs> <laughs> get off my plane! Oh. What was that movie Air One or? Uh, Air Force One, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. It was. It was. It was. It was not very good. <laughs> I like your Harrison been, Ford's I mean, like, career. Yeah, yeah, it could have been. Did he send Tommy Lee Jones off that airplane, or was that uh, Steven Seagal? I can't remember. Uh, that was that was Steven Seagal in the other movie. Uh, Tommy mm. Lee Jones did with him the Fugitive. 
where he's like, I didn't do it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We're just jumping through movies and movies. Um, mm-hmm. Completely yep. disjointed. Yep. Everyone's going to love this episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole time we were talking about all these other shows that we are familiar with, like uh, um, the dior- the diorama idea for the Bob's Burgers, that kind of led us into other animated shows. Um, to be mm-hmm. honest, I wouldn't mind making um, Mallory's Office from Archer. That would, oh, that'd be great. I, I, love, oh. this, I love how they tricked her into like, they were going to remodel it, remodel it, and then eventually. It was the exact same that, thing. thing. <laughs> even the beautiful. stains were the same. The stains were the same. Even yeah. the crappy, even the crappy printer, they rebuilt it from scratch. <laughs> yeah. I would, that, was that, like that. that was the goddamn stupidest thing ever. I laughed so hard. She was so pissed. <laughs> um, Definitely thinking like the the future of dioramas is gonna be partially like three D printing and mm. it's gotta be and then like part craftsman um, hand crafting stuff. Yeah, um, I I saw a really cool uh, file on Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a website you can find three D three fi- D files for three um, D printing for free. Basically, free files to print. Um, and one of the files that I found was Fisk's uh, Fisk's. Um, like, like his 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 table, like the one that he's always oh, okay. behind, you know. And yeah. I I've wanted to print that. My my three D printer's not working right now, so I'm just gonna have to fix that later. But uh, I know once I get it going again, I'm gonna print that sucker out because I need an office where my my main henchman or you know bad guy is leading his henchmen and telling them oh. to do that kind of nonsense. And that table is going to look great. And uh, my question is, have you commandeered most of the house for your projects, right? Uh, yeah, we, yeah. (laughs) We, we were supposed to be sharing this room and my husband's piano's in here, but everything else in here is just like mine. He's got a plant from the roof the ceiling but yeah. like i have i have my office and that's about it that's all i have is my office and everything else is liz's yeah <laughs> i know i know how it goes man i know exactly how i know exactly how it feels i have my office and like i understand your husband's like pain i understand it i understand it. <laughs> i have one office and she has I, the rest of the house I keep testing him you know uh like i, I have a fold-out table set up in the yeah. living room right now because uh i needed to I needed some noise to focus with, and all the noise that I wanted to listen to are from the TV. So I folded, uh, I set up the table up there, and that's what I'm, where I'm working on this diorama. Um, so, like, uh-huh. I guess I'm trying to say, there's a full on, fold out, a foldable table in the living room right now with a bunch of my diorama stuff that's like covering a bunch of, uh, like, a tote full of my other action figures. Mm-hmm. I'm slowly taking over the house. As long as you don't find the action figures or dioramas in the bathroom or bedroom, we're we're fine. Uh-oh. We had we had <laughs> we had two folding tables and a dining room table fully extended with all the leaves in, full of D and D stuff. Oh, not my D and D stuff, just her D and D stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> uh oh, D and D stuff. I can That's- totally like. I can totally see like going to Taven's place and it's like the crime scene tape and they're putting a, uh, a Marvel <laughs> legend in a evidence bag in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? How Love is quarrel. <laughs> Love is quarrel. <laughs> like how, how did they escalate this quickly? Marvel. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> they, never, like, they, they never go back down. <laughs> like in the, in the pouring rain, the lightning in the background, you're just on the ground on your knees. Like, what bro? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my god I love getting mad at hasbro and talking shit about them those not mad. hard right now at all it's not hard whatsoever not hard they've, right just, now. they've been themselves. just they've been screwed up so freaking hard man like can they not screw up for five five minutes five yeah. minutes can we like, not have them screw up whoever decided to tell the public that they were going to uh planning on firing people close to christmas slash new yeah. year uh, that guy was probably one of the people that was getting fired. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, they, had a, they had a stockholders meeting right before and, it happened. And did and y'all so see that they, was gonna happen. one of the Hasbro buildings, they completely just abandoned like, no, after, I, the, uh, after the firing? Uh, yeah. There's a whole Hasbro building that's just straight, got, like, nobody, nothing's there anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. They left it. 
Well, it looks like Tagger City's gonna come up. Like you know, mm-hmm. someone's gonna go in and just tag the hell out of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, may- maybe they're doing it for an art. Like maybe they're maybe they're letting it go for an art installation. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Right off on their taxes. Like, but, oh no. That art. brings me to a good point. So, like, you know, we're in, we're in our houses, right? What yeah. if, like, what if, like, we're in a diorama of another creature or something like that, or something higher power? They did this in MIB two. Get out. <laughs> um, they also did it in, in wait in Futurama. You guys, you guys watch that? That lit. Yes, Futurama. I haven't <laughs> seen the last season. I, I I've been holding off. Uh, it's all I about to watch it. It's pretty it's, decent. I like it's it. all about that Blurns ball. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a real it's a real Earth and pizza. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Once my vision comes back, I'll teach you how to make a real pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good show. Have you guys ever heard of um, Articulate Comic Book Art? Pretty sure you had to. Oh. Wait, what? What? Art- articulate Comic Book Art? Nuh-uh. Am I saying it wrong? ACBA bug nice? Like, is this ringing a bell? Not even. No. no. Uh, okay. Um, like, we so had just heard of it- this? No. <laughs> so what got me into making dioramas was um, ACBD, right? Wait, wait. Articulate Comic Book Art. Yeah, that's AC. it. ACBA, my bad. So if you guys look that up on Instagram, there's a, a whole lot of like toy photography. Basically, toy photography led me to um, ACBA. And mainly because they have a contest every October. They call it Oktoberfest. And you, they put up certain rules, you know, for this day, um, different rules for every day of October. But uh, I, I saw that and it was a contest and somebody won a prize. I forget like what it was, um, but it was just more about the art that, that came out of it. These guys were posing action figures and cool scenes, uh, like dioramas, and they had like effects. They had captions on it. They, they had references to uh, like comic book covers. Um, it was just awesome. Like all the imagination that like I want to put into like boy photography was there. And oh. um, I'd say that's kind of what got me into making dioramas because uh, I hadn't painted and drawn or colored in a long time. And I saw that yeah, I like, and I thought to myself. I like the fact I went on this and like half the photos I see of a rog- rogue's figure's butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get it. I understand. I mean, but like, come on now. She has a she has a complete dump truck. <laughs> dump truck you can't touch. Look at that jumper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Me. Yeah. They. They. Yeah. They. They do be uh, on that road train. <laughs> but that's so definitely what you, what got me into this. So what you're you're saying actually kind of reminds me of this. Uh, like the people that do like uh, competitive gun club building for Gundams. Oh, I see something too. And like they'll win, and uh, like the the company will take their model and go show it around the world and stuff, and then they'll send it back to them, but they can't mess with it for like, I think they said like three years. Oh wow! Because like they at any point they could be like, "Hey, we need your Gundam model again to take it somewhere." And for like three years, I think they said it was like three years that they can't they can't do nothing to it. Yeah, yeah. Gundam was a was a big inspiration too. Pardon me. Some of the designs that you do for a uh, for the scene scenic shots, you know, for Gunpla, because th- those are yeah. like pictures, and those are like great. They have a lot of great accessories too. Like I have, mm-hmm. I have a bunch of Gunpla stuff around here. Um, like the uh, what are those things called? The bases where they lay the Gundams on, just so like they can like the people can work yeah. on. Them. Those were great for like Iron Man figures. Like a work table, workshop table. Uh, That's what I use them for. And, uh, and yeah, I, I love Gunpla, is basically what I was trying to say. Um, Gundam G is my favorite Gundam show. Yes. And of Gundam G. That's uh, what I'm talking about right there. I just I just mm, bought Burning Gundam the other day. Nice. I mean, yeah. Shining Gundam? You, you Shining? Burning Gundam? Uh, well, I have while. Shining in the background there somewhere. Yeah. Right. That was the camera with the Burning Gundam. The second one, Shining. That show was like low key racist SF, and no one. Oh my god! Nobody, right? yeah, nobody got it. Yeah, 
I told a friend of mine that like the the one that represented Mexico was uh, a Gundam shaped as a tequila bottle or like a cactus and yeah. or something like that. And it was and named the guy was tequila sleeping Gundam. the entire time. He just kept sleeping all the time. <laughs> yeah, the sleepy the tequila Mexican. Gundam. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, Gundam tequila. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I tell you what, that's the one that people want though. They won't make it. Or so hard to. It was hard to find back when yeah. uh, I was collecting those Gundams. Oh yeah, it's oh. so hard to find it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you, mm-hmm. wow, what a, oh man! So I asked you guys what kind of dioramas you'd love. You said Bob's Burgers. You said the Zeo Warriors and all their suits and ar- uh, armory. What other um, like dioramas have you seen out there that really impressed you and like mm. uh, made you think, "Damn, what went into that?" There's a guy on TikTok I follow that does dioramas of Gundam fights from the TV show, and the most the one that got me is from a uh, uh the double O uh ninety three. Oh hey, look at that, Billy! With uh, the, Billy got this, the blue Zaku. Jim, what was that one? Double O eighty. Uh, the blue Zaku is double uh MS team doubles uh M O eight M O eight team. Yeah, that's the one that he did a diorama of, like the the two, the blue Zaku and him and the final fight. Oh, and it, like really he actually cool. has like the busted up buildings and everything. He's on TikTok. I don't know his name though, but yeah, that's what that's my favorite one. I love seeing those displays of Gundams that are like uh, battle damage and weathered yes. and into the ground. I like yeah. those too. Wait, wait, I got a, I got I got one real quick. Hold on. Yeah, go for it. Lost his foot. And Sand Rock. Sand Rock. And he lost his foot. Um, yeah. He was he was on top of a shelf and fell and his foot just popped off at the 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 uh, the break. Uh ah, the actual right. like, ankle. Yeah, so I can't reattach it. And try to be because yeah. it's one of my favorite Gundams. The last Gundam I got was this guy from the Mercury Gundam. Ooh, um, Ariel. Yeah. Ah, which of which of Mercury was a good series though. I liked it. Okay, okay. Did it get better? Because I did not like the whole high yes. school like get the fight once thing. You, that was boring as hell. Once you got out of the high school, it got so much better. Wait, 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 wait. Was it out of high school out of being lesbians or out of high school still being lesbians? Oh, they get married. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. I can give you an idea. Right, I think, right? Uh, because okay, okay, okay. So okay. So like Japan, it's such a taboo for like you know, homosexual relationships that anytime it's brought up in like anime, they're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's always kind of weird. But it's always so like, not like it's always so boring. It makes any sense. Like, like every um, gay relationship huh. in, in, in anime has been really boring. I've, I've found none of them fun. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to even find a, an anime with a gay character in it that I actually like too. Be honest, oh, um, they're all like stereotypical or boring or annoying. That's really it, too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. there's a there's a series, a Gundam series called Double O, and I really like that one. There's a there's these people that make dioramas of those because, like, in the show, they abandon the Gundams. Like, one of them's on the, the bottom of the sea floor, and this guy made a diorama with like blue resin. And it looks like oh, yeah at the bottom of the sh- yeah Gundam Wing the endless waltz is when they abandoned endless the Gundams waltz. yeah well Double right, O they, in... never, they never abandoned the Gundams yeah in the season one no they didn't uh huh they didn't abandon no they Celestial left them. being left Earth and took the Gundams with them and they they left the pilots there mm-hmm. I didn't really like. Uh, you're <laughs> aggressively <laughs> nodding. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I didn't really like Orphan Gundam. Uh, you got or, or, Orphan. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really like that one. Yeah, I couldn't it's get it. Oh, is it good? Like, okay, I, I've, I'm in bad Ideal. about watching Gundam series recently. I have not been watching Gundam series recently at all. Like, I watched Rick, Richard Mer- Mercury. I watched like three episodes of Iron Blood Orphan, and it was mm-hmm. fine. And then that's about it. And Hathaway was super boring, and I could not get oh. into it. I liked Thunderbolt, though. Thunderbolt was great. Yes. Thunderbolt 1 and 2 were fantastic. Those were really well done. Artwork was beautiful, and it wasn't CGI. Yeah, yeah. 
Thunderbolt, no. huh? Let me yeah. make a note of that so I can yeah, check okay. it out. I haven't it seen it. It has that. Thunderbolt. It's one and two. Both are great. You should really watch it in 4K. It's beautiful. Yes. And it's all it's... hand-drawn. Yes, love it. But Hathaway, if you haven't seen Hathaway, don't watch it. It's not even worth it. Not even worth it. It's it's a movie, but uh uh-uh, uh, don't do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. IBO was pretty good. I liked it, but after season two, it just got weird because that's when they introduced like Lupus Rex, and I'm like, I can't. No, I'm good. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think I've been asked to make a Gundam diorama yet, but uh, I'm I'm waiting for the day, honestly. Uh, it's gonna be I've a new seen some stuff where they took the the Marvel Iron Man like setup. They have used those as Gundam model stuff, mm-hmm. like the the Iron Man, uh, the, uh, the Iron Fortress or whatever, like the, the thing with all the Iron Man suits. Oh, okay. Oh, and so yeah. You can use that as, as like a Gundam holding cells or whatever. It looks pretty cool. I saw that's the one well, I've seen. Well, if you want to do like a here. hangar bay, I have a whole box of Gundams down here I could set up in hangar bays. <laughs> uh, you know, it, that'd be the tricky part because Gundams have so many intricate details on them. You know, like if you have one in your hand right now, you can see like all the metal plates, all the all the everything that it comes with. It's it's a lot more detail oriented than it than a Marvel Legend is. You know, so I would oh. have to match that detail in the diorama itself. Because then that's the only way it would make sense to me. You know <laughs> no, what I mean? Don't. Mm. The show's ever did. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's a way for me to, uh, you know, like I got, I got a, I got this standard right now. But as soon as like I got a new project, my standards go up because that's the only way I'm going to keep getting better and better at mm. this. Well, like, fair enough. I get that. I don't want to get oh, scaled. Yeah. And to yeah, be honest, I understand uh, and I, I, I get it. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> like move on, move on. <laughs> uh, though uh leading to that uh leading into that uh let's hit that old dusty trail yeah it's about time oh okay yeah, about, it's about that time oh, oh damn <laughs> hey, he's way, to go, way to go jim no nah, it's all good uh i'm happy <laughs> to about all sorts of different stuff okay well <sighs> I don't, know what I, I don't know what I did that for, but all right. <laughs> this is the point of you out of this. We just like yeah. dip out, or do you yeah, guys have yeah. some... no? We 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 do a wrap up really quick, and we just dip out really fast. Like, all right, guys, yeah. see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thanks again for listening to this episode of Zero to Hero with our newest guest, Taven from Taven Caveman and What's Cave up, Art after- in the caveman. Yeah. Dipping out of here because this is getting awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. like we we haven't t- we haven't asked you about your intimate relationship with your dog. <laughs> my dog and I. You asked yeah. me this question on the day of my dog's quinceanera. <laughs> <laughs> I say that all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're uninvited but, to my dog's quinceanera. What is gonna happen? <laughs> when? But uh, thanks, Taven, for joining us tonight. Uh, do you have any last plugs of social media? Any last words you'd like to say? Just repeating what you gave the audience earlier. You guys can find me on TikTok under Taven the Caveman and on Instagram as uh, Cave Art Customs. Either one, if you look me up on Instagram or TikTok, you will find me with either one of those names. And uh, remember, guys, I make dioramas. I work with all sorts of budgets, and I try to give you the best work that I can produce. If you guys want a diorama, hit me up. I'm pretty friendly to the, any idea about uh, crafting something for you guys because I'm a big old nerd too. And I just want to uh, have can confirm. I just met him right now. He's already yeah, really yeah. nice. Can confirm. Can confirm. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us. And Jim, suck it. <laughs> you guys have a good All one. All right. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Let's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stay nerdy, right. y'all. Do you want to be a hero, but you're not? Do you want to be a Jiro or a Kojiro, but you can't because you're not Japanese? Have you considered Zio to hero? Remember, heroes come and go. Idiots are for <laughs> Jubilee! Jubilee! I went down there for your birthday, and I, I embarrassed you in front of your friends and your mother. What friends? Exactly. <laughs> you know what he gave me for my birthday? They gave me I'm a. Very proud of this. It, it's a dog carrier purse that was zebra print. I for, scored. 
<laughs> yeah. I put it on. I was like, oh, this is fun. And it's yours. It's mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's how you know it. Just start <laughs> This is the Zio to Hero podcast.